just, we are jumping on with the campaign that, that everyone else is as well, which is to stop the spread and flatten that curve that we've been trying to do this from day one. Um, and so that, that's what we're asking to do is to help us be able to, to help the public and help those that truly need us um, for, for other medical emergencies by helping prevent the calls that can come from us exposing each other to a, a very, very, very transmittable disease. It's transmitted uh, through things like coughing and sneezing um, and not keeping our distance. Um, we do know that there, there's potential for it to live on surfaces for a certain amount of time. Um, it's, it's, it's a very uh, dynamic uh, situation in terms of whether or not that's been proven or not, which is merely interesting to us. But we do know is it's transmitted from person to person and, and from us uh, being so close together. Do the basics. Um, not only are we going to keep our physical distancing, but we're also going to wash our hands. Um, we're going to wash them. We're either going to use alcohol sanitizer or we're going to wash them for at least 20 seconds. Um, the other option um, that, we, that we can do is not touch our face, not touch the things, our mucous membranes, our nose, our eyes, um, our mouth, um, which are ways that we can get uh, something that's transmittable like COVID um, into our bodies and, and have it affect us. Just like the stuff that we're seeing all over the news, we are seeing the obvious, you know, the, the shortness of breath, the coughing, the fever, the general flu-like symptoms. But some of the things that we, we, we know about COVID is that you may be asymptomatic or without symptoms and still be a carrier, still have that and still be contagious. So we are seeing some, some very uh, interesting things where we might go see an ankle or a back pain um, and then the person ends up having um, the disease. So it, it's, it's either here nor there. We're just under the assumption that everyone is potentially contagious, so we're taking the measures uh, for our own firefighters just as we are expecting uh, the community to do as well. They can tell our call taker a couple things. They can talk about, um, the call taker first and foremost is gonna be prompting them to ask them certain questions that they've, they've changed the way they do business. Um, but some things they can be right up in, fr in front about are any symptoms that they have, any flu-like symptoms that they have, if they've been exposed to anybody that's tested positive, if they themselves have tested positive for COVID, if they have a mask available um, that they can put on and let the call taker know that they're gonna be able to wear a mask or some type of bandana to cover their face. If they can go outside and they're able to walk outside and be in the open air for evaluation as opposed to a cramped up space in a room, um, those are some of the ways that we can help our first responders, police and fire, uh, best mitigate any of their emergencies by, by doing the things that we would normally do on a day-to-day -day operation, just uh, with a couple extra steps on a 911 call. What I have here, this is an N95 mask. Um, this is what we are trying to equip all of our first responders and wearing what we've heard a lot about on the news. This is a surgical mask. Um, it's not a homemade mask, which are also available. There, there's a lot of different people, mom and pop shops that are producing these and even uh, big uh, commercial um, folks that are, are pr producing these on a commercial basis. Um, so these are the things that our, our first responders are wearing. Um, and these are what protect us and, and help uh, filter out any of the air that we breathe in. Um, these are the things that we're asking to be put on patients, which are surgical masks. We're going to put one of these on you, no matter if you have symptoms or not, just to help prevent what you might have if you, if you are a carrier or from you breathing in anything else. Um, again, what we're trying to accomplish here is that when we're out in the community is that we are just practicing physical distancing and that we're washing our hands and not touching our face. That's most important. If we do get uh, some type of a measure, that, that comes down from the federal government to wear these. We will wear these, but as of right now, we're, we're going with the, the basis of practicing the basic things, hand washing, not touching our face, and physical distancing.